Islanders hosting the Wild, and the Wild are plus 114 on the money line. The Islanders minus 137. The over-under is at five and a half goals. The Wild getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 225, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one goal, you win. And the Islanders laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 180, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by two goals or more. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to puck drop tomorrow. Thank you for everyone who has joined the Discord and who continues to join the Discord. If you've not done so yet, go to my website, rawsportstalk.com. Click on the membership tab. It is a paid membership, but it will give you access to my best bets and to my stats, a little bit more access to me. And I've been doing really good in hockey, especially with the prop bets, the NBA as well. So I'm just happy that people keep winning. Uh, we're supposed to have Flurry and Varlama. Flurry has been confirmed for tomorrow in net. The over is 9-2 in the Wilds games this year, and the under is 6-4 in the Islanders games this year. Head-to-head, -head, the home team is 5-5. Five five. The Wild are on a four-game winning streak. The Wild are 7-3 against the Islanders in their last 10. The favorite is on a four-game winning streak. The favorite is 8-2 on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying goals is 5-5. Five five. There have been four one-goal games in their last 10 meetings, including the last game they played against each other and two out of the last three. The unders hit in their last two. The over-under is 5-5, five and five, and the over-under at 5.5 goals, also 5-5. Five and five. The Wild are 1-4 in their last five, and the over has hit in three out of their last four games and in their last three games consecutively. And for the Islanders, they are 2-2 two two in their last four, and the over-under is 2-2. Two two. I understand that flurries in net. I get it. But the Wild have seemingly dominated the Islanders. And even with Flurry and Ned, it's not like he's trash. He's a serviceable backup. I'm going to take the Wild with the money line. I'm going to take the Wild getting the goals. And I'm going over in this one. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut. And please bet responsibly.